Okay, I want to take a moment here to show people if they don't already know how to collimate a reflector or d Dubsonian telescope. Uh, they're all pretty much the same. The smaller the scope, the less problems you have with keeping it collimated. The larger, like this 12 inch Apertura, every time I use it, I got to collimate it. So I'm going to go ahead and quick collimate it, show you what this consists of. We're going to go with a one and a half inch eyepiece holder. And I bought this laser collimator off from eBay for probably $16 only. So you don't have to spend a ton of money. And once you get it in there, you're going to face the collimator to the bottom of the scope, the opening with that bullseye. And I'm going to spin the scope around. If you'll look down in the scope, you'll see a little sticker right dead center of that primary mirror. And when I when I turn on the collimator, I notice it's below to the right about an inch away from that center centerpiece. That's your secondary mirror right here, what we're adjusting. If you look on the front of it, there's a set screw in the middle. You don't have to touch that. I always thought you had to loosen that and you don't. You got three screws, which I'm going to eventually replace. But we're going to loosen these and tighten them until we get that centered. And I got a screwdriver made for that. So one thing you're going to do is, knowing from experience, it's the bottom. So I'm going to loosen these two up. Now let's tighten this right one. And I'll loosen that one more. Okay, they're tight. So say if it's down, I'm going to loosen one, loosen this top one up, and then tighten these. What that does is shift the mirror. If you look here, like this screw goes all the way through and pushes on the mirror here. This one pushes on the mirror that way, and that one pushes on the mirror that way. And it's hard to see in there. Like I said, the screws are going right through here, holding on in three spots. So now I got the secondary mirror lined up pretty good. It's right dead center. We're going to spin the scope around. And now if you look inside there, that laser is way off. And I mean way off. So I got six screws here. Three of them more or less hold it in place. And the other one, there's, there's spring tensioner there and these hold the whole housing this here on a white one if you look comes across these three triangles that holds the mirror on and what we'll do is loosen one i just loosen that bottom one and it moved that laser up now i'm tightening the one to the right I see I already lost the laser. There it is. It's already collimated. What I'll do is go through, snug these up. Everything looks tight. And the laser is dead through there. So that's telling me laser's coming down in the secondary, beaming down to the middle of the primary, and it's coming back up bouncing off and coming out the tube going right up the center. One thing I don't see anybody doing with these laser collimators is if you were to loosen that up and spin that around and your laser dot is going in an oval or anything you know something's wrong with your laser and mine isn't so we're good to go and that's all there is to collimating it. And if you don't collimate it, you're not going to get a sharp image. And like I said, with this 12 inch, I got to do it every time. It takes a couple minutes. I'm going to be putting some other screws in here with wing nuts where I can just adjust it on the fly without touching anything. There you are. How to collimate a reflector telescope or a Dubsonian.